Okay, so this is uh, same problem, but now we're going to use elimination. Uh, or actually, I shouldn't have said same problem if you're watching this one first. <laughs> anyway, um, going to solve the system of equations using elimination. Please learn how to spell. That doesn't look right. Um, all right, we'll correct it later. <laughs> it just doesn't look right to me. Eliminate, eliminate. Oh, well, whatever. It's not important. It's not crazy important. Other than me looking like an idiot. Um, so, elimination. We're going to do the following. We're going to choose this equation, and we're going to alter it so we can add it to this equation and get rid of the x term, and add it to that equation and get rid of the x term. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to copy the equations down. Negative 2x plus 5y plus 3z equals negative 12. And I'm going to multiply this times, after I get some of the space out of here, pow, pow, I'm going to multiply this times 2. So I'm going to get 2x plus 14y plus 4z equals negative 22. Why did I change the sign on that guy? I don't know why. This is wrong. This should still be negative. I didn't change. Should not change the sign. That should be positive, positive, negative, negative. Okay. And then I'm also going to, you know, let's do that. Let's do it this way. So I'm going to add these two equations. The x term goes to 0. I'm going to write it this one time. I'm going to stop writing it from now on. So that's going to be 19y uh, minus z equals negative 34. Okay. Now I'm going to take this equation, multiply it times negative 3, and get uh, an equation. So that's going to be, let's do that, uh, negative 3x minus 21y plus 6z equals 33. And then I'm going to copy this last one down here, 3x plus 2y minus 5z equals 1. And now I'm going to add these two equations to get this new second orange one. Add these, I'm going to get 0x. I'm going to get negative 19y. I'm going to get well, plus 1z and I'm going to get 34. So let's write down my three equations. Remember, I altered this one, altered this one, and this one I, I didn't really do anything. I, I changed it or multiplied it to alter the other two, but I still have this one. I didn't, I didn't effectively change that yet. At least that's how I, how I look at it. So my system now with those changes is 19y minus z equals negative 34. And the middle one is still x plus 7y, x plus 7y, minus 2z, minus 2z equals negative 11. And then the last equation is this guy, which is negative 19y plus z equals 34. And you may have noticed something regarding the first, two, the first and last equation. They're essentially the negation of each other. That's because they're the same equation. Um, which means they're the same line in the Cartesian coordinate system. And so um, we seem to have a dependent system because the individual values for x, y, and z, the solutions, are not uh, individual solutions. We don't have a single point. They are dependent on a single input. So I have to put in one of the values, x, to figure out the other two values. Um, so typically this solution, once we figure out is dependent, we uh, represent the variables in, with respect to a single variable, either x or y or z. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of these equations. I don't want to do it by substitution, do I? Uh, okay, so let's do this. We have to do it by substitution because you have to, right? Let me see. Let me think about this a second. If I do that, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get x in terms of y. And then I'm going to get it. Yeah, see, that's why I'd rather do this with substitution um, because you're going to be stuck with one. Some, something that has two equations. Uh, not necessarily. It depends on what you're doing. Anyway. 
Uh, so let's do this. We're going to take this and we're going to solve it for z. And so if I do so, I'm going to add 19y to both sides. So my new set of equations looks like this. 19y minus z equals negative 34. The middle equation is going to be x plus 7y minus 2z equals negative 11. And my third equation is going to look like this. z equals 19y plus 34. Okay? So... If you watch the other video, you know. If you don't, I always try to write all my equations down again. Only writing and changing only thing, the thing that changing the equations that I altered so that I don't have to keep looking up here. I just have to look at what I have in front of me. Um, now I'm going to take this and substitute it in for this z. Okay, so my new equations are going to look like this: 19y minus z equals negative 34 x plus 7y minus 2 19y plus 34 equals negative 11 and then I have this guy down here which is still uh, z I guess it'll go wrong z equals 19y plus 34 yeah I should be good and so let's uh, fiddle with the middle equation. So it's going to be x plus 7y minus, multiply those is 38y, multiply this, the negative 2 and the 34, and I get negative 68 equals negative 11. Combine like terms, I get x minus 31y, add 68 to both sides, equals 57. And now I'm going to solve for x. And we'll, you know, if you didn't watch the other video, you'll see what I'm. You'll well, I'll explain what, what I'm what I'm doing. Add 31y to both sides equals 31y plus 57. So now my three equations look sort of like this. I got this one, which is 19y. Stop it. Meanwhile, I'm yelling at myself, right? Plus z equals something. 34. It's not that though. Okay. It's negative z, negative 34. All right. The second equation became this one. So now I have x equals 31y plus 57. And the third equation was this one. z equals 19y plus 34. So what I have is the x term is written in terms of y, the z term is written in terms of y, and this third equation I don't care about. Uh, not, I, I do, but I don't when I'm writing up the solution. So my solution is going to be some x comma y comma z. And but because it's a dependent system, I can't put like three, negative two, five. I cannot put a single set of answers anyway because there's an infinite number of solutions I would be writing here forever. So what I need to do is write down, for instance, and I chose the exact same way, but you could, you could have chosen a different way, but it was just easier with this problem. Um, I'm going to write x in terms of y. So I get 31y plus 57, comma, and my y value is simply y, comma, and my z value is in terms of y, 19y plus 34, and that's for all y's in the real numbers. So in other words, y can be any real number. And when I choose the y, let's say 3, I'll put 3 in for y. And so a solution for this would be 3. And then if I put 3 in for it, why did I choose 3? Why didn't I choose 1? If I put 3 into y for the x value, I get 3 times 31, which is 93, plus 57, which is 150. I believe, you can check my math. And if I put 3 in for y over here, I get 3 times 19, which is 3 times 20 minus 3 is 6, 57 plus 34 is 80, 91. And so when y is equal to 3, x is equal to 150, z is equal to 91. That's one solution. Here's another solution. If I put y equals 1, 
what do I get? I was going to do the wrong choice. 31 plus 57 is 88. And uh, blah, 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 19 plus 34 is 53, I think. Okay, so uh, that's how I would have done it via elimination. All right, now I'll go see how to spell elimination. Take care. Bye.